Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is March 9th, and right now we're looking at the visible satellite imagery with Doppler radar overlay. You can see some of the precipitation moving across mainly Northern California with this first frontal system. The next one will be stronger here. We'll go over those details here in a moment. And it looks like we may start to warm up here through our extended forecast. We'll dive into those details as well. Taking a look at the wind advisory that is from tonight until 11 a.m. Sunday morning here. You can see Northern California, some falling tree limbs there, some localized power outages some gust of 60 on ridges and coastal headlands out there so heads up for that mountain snow this is for some of northern california as well they start at 4500 they low to 3000 feet by this evening saturday evening then fluctuate between three and four thousand feet sunday through tuesday evening we've got a couple more frontal systems to go here before we start to warm up we've got some snow for the sierra nevada possible as well we'll be looking at here in a moment unsettled pattern uh, this week as you can see some rainfall for the bay area we're not looking at like any washout here but uh, bigger amounts the further north you go up the coastline here i'll show you that in the national blend of models here in a moment and if we look at what we got yesterday you can see we did get some precipitation a little bit of across southern nevada here in portions of arizona and new mexico we're not looking at crazy amounts or anything like that uh, but we've got some uh, interesting stuff coming the extended forecast is a low pressure system might be setting up that might be beneficial for arizona and new mexico here also more on that here as we go through the video but first, let's look at the European. This is last night's run, and you can see this system kind of falling apart here. Maybe a little bit of light precip for the Bay Area, some snowfall for Northern California. But then the next system's going to have a better punch. It's going to move down across from the Bay Area as we go through Sunday night into Monday morning, and we're going to get some snowfall of that out of this one for the, some of the Sierra Nevada as well. Then one more system here as we go through Monday night on in through Tuesday. You can see better amounts across some of the Sierra Nevada here. Probably not getting down towards Southern California, however. Now, taking a look at the National Line of Models on total snow, here's that initial system here, just a few inches for Northern California, and then we bring the next system here as we go on into the day Sunday, through Sunday afternoon into Sunday night, and then one more system here as we go on in, it should be wrapping up by Wednesday, but we're going to have some wintry driving conditions here, and snow levels are going to be below the past levels here, so you got to watch out back and forth, especially like places for I-80, Donner Pass, for example, and you can see Donner Summit is right here, you can see the snow levels are, you know, between five and six then dropping down a bit here as we get towards march 11th in the morning time with some snow flight out there so we could definitely be coating the roadway here and causing some travel conditions uh wintry dri uh, driving conditions back and forth across the sierra nevada right now things are good i don't see any kind of uh, compact snow or ice or anything on the roadways right now they got it taken care of pretty well and here's we go down a little bit further south you can see sesame plot starting to pick up some snowfall with snow levels right around six thousand feet at the onset here now again looking across some of the central sierra nevada there we're not doing too bad you can see you know no compact snow or ice in the roadway nice wintry scene on some of the hills out there also uh, looking at the gfs 12z run so let's like, take a wider look at things here you can see the stronger system here as we roll through sunday night into monday morning then one more system here as we go on in through wednesday morning that one should be wrapping up and we start to build a ridge here but we've also got this inside slider that wants to set up and it tries to bring some precipitation across some portions of california and uh, nevada here but mostly for arizona and new mexico and it's going to be spinning here for a bit and we're going to get some offshore winds and really going to warm some places up here across the state of california i'll show you those temperatures here in a moment now taking a look at the GFS a little bit closer here, I just want to kind of show you the systems rolling in, and then we're going to be dealing with that inside slider. Here. These are very moisture starved, and you can see the low pressure there. Maybe bringing a few showers. We'll see how that goes. The European does not bring much precipitation at all to California or Nevada, but it does bring some to Arizona and New Mexico here coming up. So that'll be something interesting to watch. And if we take a look at the total precipitation in inches on the National Planet models, let's see what it shows. You can see these frontal systems swooping down across some of the Sierra Nevada there, and it does not show anything for California or Southern Nevada out of that inside slider here. I and mean, it keeps it across uh, just light amounts across Arizona, even at that, and some of New Mexico. And that could be beneficial out there. There's still some pretty severe drought across portions of Arizona and Mexico as we speak. Now, this is looking at winds at 2,500 feet or 925 millibars. You can see our frontal systems moving down across the area here. You can see it moving across the Sierra Nevada. Some gusty winds to be had out there all the way on in through Wednesday morning. And then we drop 
pop that inside slider here and look how things turn offshore as we go on into the upcoming week on through Thursday. Probably some offshore winds across much of the states. Well, we'll watch that one. We'll break that down a little bit more here as we get closer and some of Nevada. You can see the strong northerlies down through the desert areas as well. And if the GFS is right, it'd bring better precipitation amounts of that. But again, you know, we're looking way off into the forecast there. So we're going to break that down a little bit more and see if we get some better model agreement here in the next couple of days. But something that is going to occur, this is the European, this is yesterday afternoon's run, but it's been showing this for a few days now. And as we go through the day Sunday, the waves are going to be on the increase for Northern California and the Bay Area through Monday morning. We're really going to have some increases in the wave activities, probably all the way down through Southern California. And then we've got that next system rolling in here as well. So we're going to have some increased wave activity all the way on and through the midweek period here. So don't let your guard down quite yet. And then we really relax things as we go towards next weekend here. So we'll see how that turns out. We'll watch that day by day as well. Looking at daily max two meter temperature here. If we put this into motion, check it out. This is for today, Saturday. Not bad across some of the valley areas here. And then we have these systems kind of swinging down here, keeping the temperature suppressed a bit. So we get through Tuesday, Wednesday. But as we go on into Thursday, you can see things really warm up across some of the coastal areas into the valley areas. Look, by the time we get towards Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're really starting to crank up some of the temperatures across the desert areas and into the valley. Southern California could be getting to the low 80s by next weekend. And there's Monday and Tuesday as well. But we'll be looking at that a little bit more, more here over the next few days. Still some disagreement on how that inside slider is going to come down and how strong it'll be and its exact path. Here's six to 10 day temperature outlook. Check it out. And, you know, above average signal here as we go through March 18th for temperatures and six to 10 day precipitation, not looking too hot for much of the West Coast. You can kind of see how the Climate Prediction Center does some of the, have some of this above average for portions of Arizona and New Mexico, eight to 14 days, something similar there as well. And, and then you can see that below average signal across much of the West Coast. But yeah, we'll, so we'll watch this a little bit closer here the next few days. It's gonna be interesting to see how that ridge builds and how much offshore wind, how strong will those winds be, what kind of temperatures are we going to get. But this system back here as we go through tomorrow night is going to be stronger. You can kind of see it back to the northwest here and this one not packing much of a punch here, but it is bringing some precipitation and a few inches of snow for Northern California. So anyway, I um, hope you guys are liking these videos. We'll do this again tomorrow. Click like and subscribe and I will talk to you guys then.